Yeah. Yeah. Everyone good? Yeah. Uh, Brooklyn, obviously, this is the game you want. This is the game you dream about when you're going to the state tournament. Uh, what what went right for you? What did you eat in pregame? I mean, I mean, we were just ready for the game. Everyone was, you know, putting in effort and practice, and we were all getting ready just at the beginning of the day. Felt like you guys got off to a slow start a little bit there, and then kind of some big plays that you made, you know, getting some steals, taking them back, getting some stops, things at the other end of the court that led to offense. Is that something that you really take pride in, making sure that you can convert that defense into offense? Oh, yeah. I think it's really important, and what gets us a lot of, you know, energy in our, our offense and what gets us going is our defense and how we get fast breaks or steals into layups and just, like, we're, we're ready on defense, which pushes our offense. And it started in the second half, too, with that 8-0 run. Yeah, I think you got a couple of steals in that stretch, too. How big was that stretch just to get a little more cushion in that lead? It was definitely comforting, and we were coming out of the gate, you know, we were a little nervous, but we, we got our nerves out early, and we just kind of played our game from there. Uh, you know, that second, that second half, particularly that third quarter, things really seemed to change. You guys' defense really just ratcheted up. What did you guys talk about at halftime? Because it wasn't like you had a bad defense yeah. at halftime. Um, at halftime, we just really talked about um, how how things that were working well in our defense and things that we need to keep doing in there and then things that we can do in offense to just, you know, keep going, keep scoring, and keep pushing our way through this game. Oh, we... <laughs> We've seen your sister have a few games like yeah. this. How, you know, how awesome does it feel to to go on the same stage and keep that Stanley name right there in the scorebook? I mean, it's awesome. My coach actually just called me Caitlin in the locker room, and I said I took it as a compliment, so it's okay. But, yeah, it's definitely cool just having that legacy left for me. And like some big shoes to fill that. I like the challenge. Like he said in the home, like somebody said in the hometown piece, it's the 50th anniversary of the program. What's it like to get to stay in such an uh, important year? For the it's just awesome. Like I'm happy that we've put in this much effort. We bought in this much to our season to make it just extra special for the 50th anniversary. Has it made it any special? What has made it special? Was it have there been like special guests who've come to practice or anything like that to kind of commemorate the 50th anniversary? Yeah, um, we've had the first Keelan basketball coach ever. He came a while back and he talked to us. He actually got us our warm ups brand new. And it was just awesome to hear all his stories of the first, you know, ever healing team. It was pretty cool. And I think that pushed everyone to want to buy in more to the season for that and for him.